Sanguine Bond is a passive item that spawns a set of spikes in the middle of each future Devil Room. Joker. Touching the spikes deals one full heart of damage to Isaac, but grants a chance to spawn random rewards, just like the spikes in Sacrifice Rooms do. However, these spikes work different. The chances for the rewards don't change with subsequent sacrifices. The most common rewards for touching the spikes are either nothing with 42% chance or 6 pennies with 35% chance. However, you also have a 5% chance to spawn two black hearts or a 15% chance to permanently increase your damage set by 0.5. If you are really lucky, you can also hit the rare reward of a random free devil item with a chance of 2%. However, this is still not the rarest reward. You also have a very small chance of 1% to instantly get the Leviathan transformation without any additional items. It is worth to note that flight won't prevent you from using the sanguine bond spikes. Getting multiple instances of the Sanguine Bond item grants no additional benefits. The chances of all the rewards stay exactly the same. The item will not spawn spikes in the same devil room that you acquired it in. Leaving and re-entering the room doesn't change this fact. Just like with regular Sacrifice Room spikes, using any form of invulnerability will not trigger the effect. You have to sacrifice health to get a reward. However, you can get additional value out of the item by combining it with effects that lower your taking damage, like wafer or cancer. The spikes reward you infinitely as long as you have health to pay. This means that you can farm infinite money and even devil items if you break the game. Scapular plus Goathead is a simple example for this. You can just refresh the scapular effect to pay the spikes over and over again as long as you want. Dark Esaw can collide with the spikes, but they actually don't deal damage to him, so there's no risk in taking the item as Tainted Jacob. The spikes can actually be paid with spawned player entities like those of the found soul trinket or the soul stones of Jacob and Esau or the soul forgotten. Of Jacob and Esau. However, it is worth to note that both the damage upgrades as well as the Leviathan transformation will be granted to that entity instead of Isaac. There are multiple ways to break the game with Sanguine Bond. Found Soul, for example, can be abused with another trinket or the exit continue exploit to farm infinite sacrifices. The easiest way to exploit Sanguine Bond with another item is Strawman, because he uses money as health while 6 coins are a possible reward of the spikes. The 6 penny payout has a 35% chance to occur, which means that it is very likely for you to just go infinite with the spawned money compared to Strawman's health. Most of you probably figured it out by now. If the Strawman can break Sanguine Bond, then it obviously also works by just playing one of the Keeper characters. As long as you can hit the 35% chance for the 6 penny payout within your first two sacrifices, you are very likely to go infinite. Also, don't forget to use your wooden nickel if needed. You have to be very patient with any Sanguine Bond break, but infinite money, health and devil items will obviously result in a free win most of the time. Tainted Keeper can potentially do the same, however the fact that he only has 2 health and no wooden nickel makes it less likely to start a loop without any additional help. God's favorite son His flowing rose Reach down from heaven His hands Isaac! you Build 